Communications director at the White House who speaks for the White House called me up to ask me about sourcing for a, a tweet that I had written about who he was having dinner with. Um, and then from there, it turned into, I turned it into an interview. Um, but, you know, this is, uh, this is someone who speaks for the White House, calling a reporter, having a clear, on the record, no ground rules conversation, just as if he were coming on your air and sitting in this chair and talking to you. Um, so, you know, this, we run into this uh, every once in a while in journalism where, you know, sometimes we call it source remorse, where, uh, mm. you know, people um, re regret saying things. Um, and, you know, I think, that's, I think that's what he was saying with that tweet, although in the previous tweet he, he didn't seem to uh, have, have much remorse. He just said, you know, he just joked that he, he used some, some off-color language. But, you know, from a reporter's perspective, the important thing is, one, was it on the record, were there any ground rules? It was on the record, no, no, uh, no, no ground rules that he asked me to commit to. And then two, was it newsworthy? And if the most important communicator at the White House calls you and tells you he's going to fire all the communication staffers at the White House, tells you that he has brought in the FBI to investigate the chief of staff, tells you that the chief of staff is a paranoid schizophrenic, <laughs> And um, says and that some was putting it lightly. That, that was, was putting just it lightly. One that's of the colorful that, way. That's just what we can spoke. say. And then uh, you know goes on a rant about uh, the the president's chief strategist. I would say that's all pretty newsworthy stuff. I'm in the business of reporting on the yeah. White House, explaining these people to the public. Um, so this is just a straight uh, how journalistic transactions work in Washington. Do you have any regrets of how you did your reporting? Because he says it was a mistake in trusting you. No. I mean, that would be as, as if I were sitting here and I got off air and said, wow, that was a real mistake in trusting Anna. I can't believe I sat there and answered her on the record questions. Mm -hmm. No. When the communications director of the White House calls a reporter and speaks to them on the record, um, there's, that, th there's, there's no ambiguity about what's going on there. Right. Right. So, so when he started letting all of this vulgar language fly, I, I just got to know, what was your gut reaction when you're hearing all this? Have you ever heard anything like this from a White House official before? Honestly, no. I, I got off the phone and I, I, call, I, I, need, I needed to talk to someone about it because it was frankly the most insane conversation I'd ever had with a government official. Um, I downloaded the uh, recording from my recorder into my computer and uh, I haven't actually told anyone about that, but I, I named it Insane Scaramucci Interview because <laughs> it, it, it was just so completely uh, unlike any, any on-the-record conversation I'd had with a spokesman for the White House uh, in 20 years of, of, of covering Washington. Um, and, yeah. so I, and I knew how newsworthy um, it was. And so that's why I spent, you know, yesterday sort of going over the piece, going back to Scaramucci, talking to him about it, going to Steve Bannon, trying to get uh, rights and just, you know, putting the piece together and doing all the due, the due diligence on right. it.